hello welcome to webdevmatic so i'm here with new series where i'll be building a forum like website like uh, laravel.io so this forum looks simple but there is a lot of features a uh, lot of things going on uh, along the way we'll add some features from stack overflow like booting uh, and more features okay so uh, there's a lot of thing you'll learn from this video I'll try to follow the best practice uh, for building this application so let's start so as you can see I've run new uh, I've installed a new Laravel application named WebDev Forum and I've opened it up on PHP Storm so one step I've already done is I've run PHP artisan make auth So with that command our authentication is all set up. Next. Okay, now I uh, will uh, will install our layout. So I'm using this bootswas.com and you can use whatever theme you like. So it is just bootstrap. I'll just download this paper theme. Let's download it and I'll save it as yeah, I've already saved it as uh, paper bootstrap.min.js. So just save it. Okay. So so now inside view, inside layout, I'll create a new layout for front end and I'll call it front dot the okay, just front. So PSB Storm will automatically create this for me so inside here I'll just include that file or you can just include this URL if you don't want to include that file this URL will do fine okay now you don't need to uh, you don't need to reference the bootstrap CSS will we have already included this boot source version next we'll include a uh, bootstrap and JavaScript mm, let's see CDN JS so I have this plugin to help me so this bootstrap snippet plugin I guess also before that we need to include jQuery yes okay so this is our front uh, layout okay so this is basic HTML uh, with this basic navbar and here inside container will yield our content okay so our layout is done and now let's go to the home okay this is the page uh, which will be redirecting which will get after we get uh, authenticated but let's create one page for non-authenticated users so that will be our the first page which non-logged in user will see so i'll call it main okay so this is basic main page which first time visitor will see so let's go to web.php and here I'll create a new route okay, this will be our home page so yeah actually uh, we can use this welcome view uh, yeah so let's use that so instead of this main just copy all the code from main into welcome yeah so that way we don't need to create other files just delete that okay so yeah so our home page is welcome which will extend the front layout and yeah, which will show this for now 
okay now uh, now uh, let's uh, set up database Okay, with that set, let's run migrate command. Migrate PSV Allison, migrate. Okay, if you get error while migrating, you can just go to App Service Provider and inside boot you can put this uh, default string length and try migrating again of course we need to import that so you might not get this error uh, Okay, so that's migrated. With that set, let's uh, move on. I'll just uh, quickly set uh, the domain. Okay, so this is our main page. Let's try inverse. Netbar inverse. Okay, with that said, uh, now we'll create our threads. So let me show you for now this, uh, yeah, this website. So we'll uh, first create the uh, thread crud. So where we'll be creating threads and editing updating all the stuff and yeah and then we'll proceed with all other authentication stuff so let's first create that so open up terminal and PSP artisan make model will take help yeah so with uh, yeah these flags we can create everything with so let's do that. So PS, uh, PSP artisan make model and name of model will be thread. It's, it will create migration, it will create controller with resource will controller. Okay, so now it's created. Let's go to migration. Create threads. Okay, so here we'll create so uh, our threads table will have uh, first field will be uh, first column will be um, subject yeah so subject of thread next for thread or you can call it body and it is for type of thread type and this is thread we'll just make type nullable okay so let's go to thread.php Okay, now let's migrate. PSV artisan migrate. Okay, it is created. Now let's go to the controller. Okay, in index method, we'll uh, get threads uh, like we'll paginate. 
15 results and then we'll we'll pass it to view thread dot index so let's create that inside resources views let's create new folder for okay we got index dot blade inside it and from welcome we'll copy layout into our thread index and here we'll say welcome yeah we don't need jumbotron i guess here let's remove it for now and we'll loop through threads and show it here for displaying our uh, threads we'll use bootstrap list uh, groove and here yeah we'll loop through one okay this is list list group and this is each item okay so heading will be thread uh, subject okay we'll limit this to will not show all thread here we'll limit mm, like 100 words i guess 100 character that will be okay it will do fine for now okay with that said let's go to web.php and let's define resource route okay so let's create some threads uh, manually for now okay we got four threads and let's uh, let's first see what routes we got php artisan route list so thread index uh, if we go to slash thread we should see our index page let's let's see that okay that looks uh, good to me 